guys, Zach with Lambs Auto Customs and Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to install a distributor into your motor. We have a small block uh, Chevy. Uh, what we're going to do here is install a distributor into this motor. And it's it's not too complicated. It can get a little tedious with, with just adjusting stuff. I'm going to show you one way of doing it. Um, this is a little easier in some cases because the motor is outside of the car. Um, it's going in the 80Z28 tomorrow. Um, basically what we're going to do is focus on setting this rotor button to sit with the number one cylinder. Okay, now I've already got that pretty well lined up there. And what we're going to do is watch the degrees on the timing tab. We're going to keep an eye on our exhaust valve and intake valve. We want to find the top dead center on compression stroke. Once we've discovered that, we'll uh, set our distributor there. Um, I've set up a Excuse me, set up in a push button uh, starter deal so I can kind of jostle the starter around. And I'll throw that out way out of alignment there and I'll show you how to do this. Basically, what's going to happen is, and what I, one thing I would suggest is take the spark plugs out so there's no compression, so just the slightest little bump will barely move. If you've got compression, it tends to be a little harder, it wants to fight you a little bit. Uh, take spark plugs out if you can. Um, and then watch your exhaust valve, which is right here. It's always above the exhaust port. So if you got this in a car, take your distributor cap off, take your valve cover off. It's the easiest way to do it. Watch your exhaust go down and come back up. Your intake opens, closes. So now that the intake's closed, we're going to be coming up on the compression stroke. Okay, so we want to bump it around here. Alright, so we went just a little bit past, but that's alright. I'm going to grab the hold of the flywheel here. I'm going to turn it back just a little bit. And this is the big reason I like to leave those uh, spark plugs out. Because this, is uh, this isn't a a 350. It's a 350 block. But we actually have a small, or a, uh, a 383 stroker. We got a 40 over bore and a 400 crank. Um, and it's got a pretty big cam in it, so it's a we got a little higher compression, uh, so it's a pain in the butt if you're going to try to uh, turn it over with your hand with spark plugs in it. You got to have some pretty burly, burly hands. All right, now what we're going to do is on our rotor cap, right in this area, we're going to make where our number one spark plug wire comes off. Okay. So you want to get this rotor button to point at that number one cylinder. Now I've got it. We're going to try to catch this tooth here. So as this distributor turns here in just a moment, this gap is going to close. On the oil uh, pump, there's a shaft that comes up out of it. And on the bottom of the distributor shaft, there's a wrist pin. They interlock once it finds its niche, and it sits down in there flush. And that's when you clamp it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to bump the starter, and you'll watch it, it'll drop as it rotates. See, it'll drop into place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to watch exhaust, intake, compression, brought it right back up to TDC, and as you can see, we're not exactly pointing where we want to be. So what we'll do now is, on these distributors, as you see, they got these teeth. This runs with your cam. So we're going to adjust, move this tooth back one way or the other. Since we're sitting just a little bit shy of it, we're going to turn it back to where it sits here. And then we'll drop it in because we're at top dead center now. We'll bring it back around. And this is where you, this is where you just tweak with it a little bit. Gonna be close. See, these things like to fight you quite a bit. Just gotta reach back here, and the only way you can really do this uh, when it's in a car, as far as grabbing the uh, the flywheel like that, is if you've got it uh, 
with no spark plugs in there and even then it's going to be a bit of a beast so we should be right up there we're kind of fiddling around with top dead center here it's pain in the butt to try to get should be right on it yep so we're just a little bit off still so I'm gonna come back here again turn the tooth back drop it in three degrees roughly five we'll turn our crank and we're just off of top dead center and as you can see our rotor button is now pointing straight to the number one cylinder now we've got that put your cap on there's a little notch here you want to find it you only like to go on one way. Turn your distributor around. I can find it here. There we go. Doesn't help it wants to move around because it's not clamped down yet. Trying to do it all one handed. There we go. Well, basically, that is it. You just plug that up. And now, right now, the rotor is pointing towards. The number one cylinder so you can set this however you want to turn it and make whichever one of these prongs you want to be number one as long as you fall away and on a small block chevy it's one eight four three six five seven two at your firing order so as long as you follow that and your rotor button is pointed the number one cylinder you can make any one of these on these hei's and points distributors fire at number one because it just it spins around so whichever order you want to put it in fine as long as it fires one eight four three six five seven two you're good to go so it's kind of a vague video it was a suggestion somebody put in so I'm just trying to help them out um, my cameras down too I, I can't have any luck so hope I'll be putting out some better videos here before long I find somebody to hold a camera for me too um, but I appreciate you guys watching and uh, leave your comments and suggestions below you guys have a great day thanks for watching